Hello everyone. So for this video, we are going to talk about the semicircle theorem, inscribed angles in the same arc theorem, and inscribed quadrilateral theorem, which are considered our theorem 98, 99, and 100. So first of all, what will be our learning target for this video? So hopefully, you will be able to apply the theorems related to semicircles, inscribed angle, and inscribed quadrilateral in finding the measures of indicated angles and or arcs afterwards. Okay, so I'd like you to take note again. So what are the theorems that we are going to talk about in this video? First, we are going to talk about Theorem 98, which is the semicircle theorem. Next is Theorem 99, which is inscribed angles in the same arc theorem. And lastly, we have Theorem 100 about inscribed quadrilateral. Let us start with the first theorem mentioned, Theorem 98, the semicircle theorem. An angle inscribed in a semicircle is considered a right angle. So first of all, what is a right angle again? So I'll just relate it to a right triangle. So right triangle is a triangle in which one angle is a right angle. So what do we mean by right angle? Uh, this is an angle which measures 90 degree. Okay, for example, let us have, as you can see, we do have angle ACB or BCA it intercept a semicircle which is semicircle ADB or AEB and therefore so based on theorem 98 we can say that angle ACB is a right angle or it measures 90 degrees so another example so we can have angle AEB so this is also considered a right angle so another one so as you can see we have angle adb or bda so it is also considered a right angle because it intercept as well a semicircle and another we have angle bfa or afb it is also considered a right angle as well therefore this angle measures exactly 90 degrees so that is theorem 98 okay moving on for theorem 99 inscribe angles in the same arc theorem two or more angles inscribed in the same arc are considered congruent so let's have example now, this angle acb is considered inscribed angle because the vertex is on any point of the circle so we have arc acb or bca and of course our intercepted arc is arc ab and now let's have another inscribed angle and that is angle adb now as you can see the intercepted arc of angle adb is also arc ab and let's have another example. So let's say we have angle AEB or BEA. And this is also inscribed angle wherein the intercepted arc is arc AB as well. So based on theorem 99, if the angles um, intercept at the same arc, then they are considered congruent. So, for example, if measure of angle BCA is 70 degrees, um, therefore, angle AED and angle ADB is 70 degrees as well. So, that's it. Okay, lastly, for theorem 100, opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. So, first of all, what is inscribed again? It means inside. And supplementary, sum of pair of angles is equivalent to 180 degrees. So, of course, you need to identify first which are our set of opposite angles. So, first of all, we have opposite angles b and c 
And since it is supplementary, let's check. So given angle B is 70 degrees and angle C is 110 degrees. So we will have 180 degrees. So they are supplementary. And for another set, we have opposite angles A and D. So, 120 degrees for A and 60 degrees for D. So, 120 plus 60, um, they must be equivalent to 180 degrees always. So, since based on theorem 100, this states that opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilaterals are considered supplementary. Okay, so those are theorems 98, 99, and 100. Let us have our practice exercise if we can apply those um, theorems discussed a while ago. So given this illustration, guys, so first of all, let us have our given. If you can see, in circle O, measure of arc AB is 120 degrees and measure of arc BC is 150 degrees. Find the measures of the following angles. So first of all, guys, so um, if you want to easily interpret or identify the measures of the following angles that we are going to solve in a while, first, maybe let us um, apply first the postulate um, 24, which is about diameter. So if you can see diameter, since here in our illustration, we do have diameter BD, that means that um, this diameter BD divides the circle into two semicircles. So that means we can have semicircles BAD and BCD. And at the same time, we do have here given data, which is measure of arc AB is 120 degrees. Since BAD is a semicircle, we can get the measure as well of arc AD by simply subtracting 120 degrees to the exact measure of the arc of a semicircle, which is 180 degrees. So 180 deducted by 120 degrees, we can have 60 degrees for arc AD. So to check, you just simply do the arc addition postulate 120 plus 60 degrees it's 180 degrees so it's correct so semicircles measures 180 degrees right so for the other side which is our semicircle bcd which is also equivalent to 180 degrees as well so since we have arc bc 150 degrees you just simply subtract it from 180 degrees to get the measure of arc dc and that is 180 minus 150, we will have 30 degrees. So now we do have the idea of uh, all the measures of each arcs in the circle. So let us have, um, first find the measure of angle 1. So as you can see, angle 1, what kind of angle is this? So here, Referring to angle 1, as you can see, this is the same with uh, angle DBC, which is considered inscribed angle. So, as you can see, we do have the measure already of arc CD, which is considered the intercepted arc of this inscribed angle, which is angle 1 or angle DBC. And we do have this inscribed angle theorem which states that the measure of the inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. And now, the intercepted arc of angle 1 is arc DC. So, we just simply get half of the measure of arc DC and that is 15 degrees. And you're done. So as easy as that. Okay, moving on. So measure of angle 2. So look for measure of angle 2. As you can see, this is our um, angle 2, which is the same with the angle DAC or CAD. And as you can see, this is also an inscribed angle. And if you're going to relate this to the angle 1 that we solved a while ago as you can see they do have same 
intercepted arc. And we do have Theorem 99 a while ago, which means inscribed angles in the same arc theorem, which states that um, angles with the same intercepted arcs have the same measures as well. Therefore, we can say that if measure of angle 1 is 15 degrees, then measure of angle 2 is 15 degrees as well. So here, as you can see in the illustration, the intercepted arc of angle 2 is arc DC as well, which is 30 degrees. So half of 30 degrees is 15. Okay, moving on. For measure of angle 3, so again, let's take a look with measure of angle 3. So where is measure of angle 3 located? So where is angle 3, I mean? So here, angle 3, it's the same with angle ADB. And now trace where is the intercepted arc of angle 3. It's it intercept arc AB. And that means we are supposed to apply inscribed angle theorem again since angle 3 is considered inscribed angle. And uh, applying the inscribed angle theorem again, the measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. And so since our intercepted arc, AB is 120 degrees, thus we will have half of 120 degrees. So, we can have 60 degrees. Okay, so moving on for angle 4. So, look for angle 4 again. So, this time, as you can see, our angle 4 is this one. So, angle 4, this is the same with angle ACB. And, as you can see, angle 4 is an inscribed angle as well. And, uh, it so happened again that the intercepted arc of angle 4 is the same with the intercepted arc of angle 3. Therefore, we can apply again theorem 99, which is inscribed angle in the same arc theorem, which states that angles with the same intercepted arc is considered Congruent. So, therefore, we can say that angle 4 measures 60 degrees as well. So, half of its intercepted arc, which is 120, so half of 120, it's 60 degrees. So, it's the same with angle 3. Next is angle 5. So, let's find where is angle 5. So, angle 5 is here. So, angle 5, so trace for an intercepted arc. So, angle 5, it's the same with angle B, D, C. And the intercepted arc of angle 5 or angle B, D, C is the arc B, C, which is equivalent to 150 degrees. And since angle 5 is an inscribed angle, so we are supposed to apply inscribed angle theorem again. And now, to get the measure of angle 5, you simply get half of the measure of its intercepted arc, which is 150. So, what is half of 150? So, it is 75 degrees. So, as easy as that. So, moving on for measure of angle 6. Where is angle 6? So, this one. So, measure of angle 6, this is a central angle. By the way, what is central angle? It is an angle wherein the vertex is exactly the center of the circle. And here we are. So the center of the circle is O. So And the vertex of angle 6 is at O. Therefore, it is considered central angle. So this time, we are going to apply central angle intercepted arc postulate. And that is postulate 22. Okay, so it states that the measure of the central angle is the same with the measure of its intercepted arc. So, what is the measure of the intercepted arc of the central angle 6? So, tracing, we can have it intercept arc AD. And since the measure of arc AD is 60 degrees, and applying central angle intercepted arc postulate, so, we can say that angle 6 measures 60 degrees as well. 
Okay? So, moving on. How about measure of angle BCD? So, BCD. Okay. So, as you can see, angle BCD uh, here in this portion. So, this angle. So, BCD. So, the rays on the intercepted arc. So, as you can see, angle BCD intercept a semicircle. So, that means you are going to apply theorem 98 and that is semicircle theorem. The angle intercept a semicircle, then it forms a right angle. Therefore, angle BCD is equivalent to 90 degrees. Applying again theorem 98. So, an angle that intercepts a semicircle is equal to a right angle, which is 90 degree angle. Okay, lastly, find the measure of angle ADC. So, ADC, where is ADC? So, ADC is this one. So, this part. So, it's a, as you can see, it's a combination of angle 3 and angle 5. So, here you can apply the um, answers that we got from inscribe angle 3 and inscribe angle 5. So, you just simply use the angle addition postulate or you can look at the arcs of this inscribe angles. As you can see, we do have the intercepted arc of angle 3 is 120 degrees and then the intercepted arc of angle 5 is 150 degrees so getting the sum of it 120 and 150 we will have 270 degrees and since angle 3 and angle 5 are both inscribed or shall I say angle ADC is considered inscribed angle then we are going to apply inscribed angle theorem so you get half the measure of its intercepted arc so what is half of 270 it is 135 degrees or same manner if you're going to apply arc i, I mean um angle addition postulate so you just simply add the the measure of angle 3 and angle 5, so 60 plus 75, you will get the same answer, which is 135 degrees. Okay, and we're done. So that's it for this illustration. So thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you learn about Theorem 98, 99, and 100. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe so that you will be updated of the next playback videos that I'm going to make. Thank you so much. God bless everyone.